Welcome to this quick tutorial of Adobe Premiere Rush. We're going to walk you through creating a new project, adding clips and sound, editing your pieces, adding some filters and titles, and then finally exporting your short film. So let's go ahead and get started with creating a new project. This is what you'll see after you launch Adobe Premiere Rush. So we're going to click on create a new project. On the right hand side, you'll see a preview of all of your clips, as well as any soundtracks you may have. If you want to locate any files on your local computer or any external drive, you'll go over to the left here. And if you have any files in the cloud, you can actually connect as well. On the left hand corner is your project name. I'm going to go ahead and call it sample movie. And then what you'll do is select media to create a new project. So what you'll do is just grab your clips. And as you can see, it numbers them in the order that you click them. You could always rearrange them. I'm going to go ahead and just add those there. And as you can see on the bottom, it is adding the clips as you click on them at the top. Again, you could always change this out. And then if you want to add some music track, I'll click there and it will add it for me as well. That's how easy it is to add all your media to begin creating. Now, before I click on create over here on the lower left, if you click on sync with creative cloud, it will sync with all of your devices. So if later you want to edit on a different computer or even on your mobile device, you can do that as well. Next, I'll click create. And now we are in the edit window. As you can see here at the top, it says edit. And later on, we will do some sharing here. So what you're looking at is a preview window here at the top. So if I click on play, I will actually be able to see a preview of my short movie as you can hear the music is there as well i'm gonna go ahead and pause that now there has nothing been added to any of these clips as far as transitions or filters all of that is up to me so what i'm going to do here is slide back to the beginning and here at the very bottom you have a slider where you can actually adjust to look much closer to your clips if you can see there it is expanding and then it is minimizing that as well so you can Use that to help fine tune your adjustments. Each clip, whenever it is selected, you'll notice a band around the clip, the orange band. That tells you which one is in preview at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the beginning here. And if I zoom in, and that clip is about six seconds long when I scrub it. You can see that if you want it to trim, for example, right there over here on the left hand side, you can use these scissor icons and click and what it does. Notice it spliced that clip. So if I wanted to click that and either click on the trash can icon or click delete on my keyboard, go ahead and do that there. That's how easy it is to trim each piece. So here we go back to the beginning. Now, if I needed to add another clip that I may have left out, I can do that by coming up here to the top and click add media. And I can choose the media option here and I'll be able to add more clips as I want to. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go here on the lower left corner and click on this icon, which is control tracks. This allows me to see how I can control each track. For example, I can hide that track there. I can mute the audio completely from all of those tracks so that I only hear my music track. You notice that it is still active here. If I were to mute it, it would turn gray. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out some, and I'm going to highlight all of these tracks. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that when I add transitions, it will add them to all of them at the same time. So here are some preset transitions. Right now there's none. If I choose 
cross dissolve if you notice in between each track I'm going to zoom in you see that kind of a gray bar here that is your transition notice when I click a transition it changes here dip to white or cross dissolve or leave it as none so now if I click here and view there was a cross dissolve right there I'm gonna go ahead and mute it so you can focus on that cross dissolve there we go so it just depends on what your preference is or you can leave it as none I'm going to use cross dissolve on all of them and if I want to I can actually alternate between them but my style is to use the same one in all of the clips so now that I have my transitions I'm going to go ahead and leave that okay the next thing I'm going to do is head on over to the color option the filter up here on the right and it has built-in presets I could also add my own I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the presets and with the clip selected I can go through and choose a look so notice how it kind of gives it that kind of a detailed kind of a sharp look let me go back to the original that's original got a cinematic look film look so you can go through and choose whichever one is the one that you like I'm gonna go ahead and go with cinematic and let's go to this one give it a cinematic look so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to all of them so all right so we have our color transition and we've already added our audio track here or I should say our backing track but if I wanted to I come over here to the audio controller and as you recall I had already turned off the audio over here but if I want to I can make each clip louder so I can adjust per clip or in my case I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave the audio completely off on this so our next step is to add some titles I'm gonna click here on titles let's go to the beginning over here I'm gonna zoom in here and click on title as you can see I have different titles set up I'm gonna click on here drag it over here I can adjust how much that title stays on the clip so see there and just double click that I'm gonna call this the beach and notice right here on the right hand side there is the name of that title clip I can change the font and the color I can size it this is fairly customizable to your liking really cool change the color of the font shift the baseline leave as is and see how it looks pretty cool now you can also add transitions to your title so if you want your title to dissolve as well just drag that over to the clip so it starts and it dissolves as well if you want it to dissolve in the beginning just drag that to the beginning let's drag this out and there you go anytime I want to add more titles I can just come on over here to the titles and choose a different one and add it wherever I want a title to be seen so up here I want another title I can do it as well so if I wanted to highlight a location that we were visiting I can do that go ahead and delete that and then maybe add some ending titles here as it fades out let's do kind of a I don't know let's go ahead and just do that one there and notice how I'm kind of shifting it off right here let me zoom in so you can see that so that the ending will kind of start here and fade out and you'll still be able to see that there so that's kind of some customizing that you can do now I actually didn't film this I'm just editing it get to kind of the point that I'm trying to make here and again if you want to give this transition as well maybe dip it to black so as it fades out the text fades out as well 
So we're almost done here editing. One last thing is the sound. If you notice the soundtrack is a lot longer than my actual movie. So what do I need to do is come on over here, drag the, the timeline so it matches up, select the audio, let's do that again, and then use the scissors there to split it. Let's delete that excess and let's kind of zoom in here, get a little closer. And I can also do the same thing, add a transition to my audio so the audio fades out as well. well. Let's zoom back out and give it a little more time. So the audio will play and as that starts to transition out, the audio will also adjust its loudness to match the fade out of the clip. And that's how easy it is to edit a movie in Adobe Premiere Rush. Now, the next thing we're going to do is share this video. I'm going to click on share and you have several options here. Let's make sure that we name our file here and you can choose where to save it to. It tells you about how large that movie is. You can go to advanced settings and adjust the resolution. If you want to go full HD, ultra and standard definition there, quality, high, low, stereo. So you can make all these fine tuned adjustments. And if you want to share on YouTube, just turn that on. You'll be asked to sign in there. Same with Facebook or Instagram. It'll just publish it and you can save it later to Instagram and then to Behance as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off and I'll just go ahead and click export and it is rendering the video for me. All right, now it's done rendering. And if you notice, since I did not publish it to any social media site, it does not say publish over here. So it is done. I click done. There we go. That is how easy it is to create a movie in Adobe Premiere Rush and then share it with others. Hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.